Hello everyone. So today we are going to read about plant life. In our surrounding we have numbers of plants and trees. They may differ in shape and size but all the flowering plants have some common characteristics. Basically all the flowering plants are similar because all the plant possess root, stem, leaf, fruits and flower. A typical flowering plant such as mustard plant consists of two main system. A system below the soil is called the root system and it consists of the main root, secondary root and the root hairs. Noted down, till now scientists have identified more than 2,60,000 species of angiospermic plant. The system above the ground which we see is called the suit system. The suit system consists of stem, leaf, flower and fruits. We will learn about the leaf and the flower of a plant in detail. The leaf. Leaf is one of the most important part of the suit. It is called the kitchen or the food factory of the plant. It is thin, flat, green, expanded structure which is concerned with the manufacture of food. It arises from the node of the stem and has a bud called axillary bud in its axil. External structure, a typical leaf mainly consists of these parts number one leaf blade or lamina the flat green part of the leaf is called the leaf blade or lamina it is generally thin and expanded structure which receive the maximum sunlight it contain green pigment the chlorophyll which is essential for photosynthesis the leaf blade have a network of veins which are further divided into fine veins called venlets. When receive water to the leaf and transport prepared food from the leaf to the other part of the plant. Petiole it is a stalk by the leaf by which the leaf is attached to the stem of a plant. The petiole extend in the leaf blade as a meat rib and join the leaf to the stem. Its main function is to keep the leaf in such a position so that it can get maximum sunlight and air. Leaves having petiole are called petiolate and the leaf without petiole are called sessil venation. The arrangement of vein and venlets of the leaf blood is called venation. Venation is of two types reticulate venation and parallel venation. Number one reticulate venation. When the veins and venlets are irregularly distributed forming a network it is called reticulate venation. This type of venation is found in the leaves of mango and mustard. Second, parallel venation. When veins run parallel to each other from the base to apex in the leaf blade, it is known as parallel venation. Example, rice, banana and wheat. Kinds of leaves. On the basis of lamina, leaves are of two kind. Number one, simple leaf. Number two, compound leaf. Simple leaf. It consists of single and undivided lamina without any cut. In some cases, leaf blade is slightly in size. Example, leaf of mango, mustard. Second, compound leaf. When lamina is cut down in up to the midrib or petiole to form many leaflets, such a leaf is called compound leaf. Example, neem. Arrangement of leaves. 
द अरेंजमेंट ऑफ लीव ऑन द स्टेम और ब्रांच इट इज नोन एज फिलोटेक्सी लीव्स आर अरेंज इन सच अ वे दैट दे गेट मैक्सिमम सनलाइट लीव्स में भी अरेंज इन द डिफरेंट पैटर्न्स नंबर वन ऑल्टरनेट when one leaf is present at a node that is opposite to the previous leaf leaves are arranged at different gap around the stem example mustard sunflower second opposite when two leaves divide at a node laying opposite to each other example tulsi guava third when more than two leaves develop at each node and arranged in a circle example oleander narium function of a leaf the main function of a leaf is to synthesize of food with the help of chlorophyll carbon dioxide water and the presence of sunlight by the process of photosynthesis second the leaf perform gaseous exchange through some small pores on their surface called stomata third the excess water in the form of water vapor is removed from the leaf through stomata and the process is called transpiration modification of a leaf sometimes the entire or part of the leaf is modified to perform special function these may be number 1 leaf tendril in some weak stem plant the leaf is modified into a tendril which help the plant in climbing example sweet pea second leaf spine in the leaves of xerophytes desert plants like cactus the leaves are modified into spine the spine prevent water loss during transpiration example optunia number 3 scale leaves these leaves store food and water and become thick and fleshy example onion number 4 insectivorous the leaf of some plants are modified into a bladder or pitcher to track the insect these plants are called insect eating or insectivorous plants example venus flytrap bladder wood vegetative propagation in leaf some plants like the bryophyllum have fleshy and thick leaves bearing buds on its edges these buds on its edges of the leaf grow up to the new plant when leaf fall down on the ground the birds start growing thank you